Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Cementum Dental Care. I am Dr. Rutsav Shama and I am an endodontist by profession. Today we have another good toothbrush by Oral-B Sensitive Ultra Thin Toothbrush. Let us just dive in and find out how it competes, where to use, why to use and of course, when to use. Well, uh, this is how it looks. The oral will be badging. We get a thumb grasp and the reverse side, it looks good. Again, this is the tongue cleaner. Bristles are quite soft and I'm sure this will serve the purpose. The neck is slightly stiff and this is how it looks. Wow, the unique design of these bristles. They seem to be pretty thin. And as mentioned on the packaging, they're 0.01 mm. And of course, they'll be gentle on the gum and Useful in deep cleaning. All right. And now look at the crisscross design of these bristles. These are unique crisscross bristles. They are angled in opposing directions to lift out and sweep away any kind of plaque. All right. And you can also see the difference in their heights. The blue ones are slightly longer and thinner as compared to the anteriors. This is the tongue cleaner. And there's sufficient spacing between these bristles. So, of course, disinfection and cleaning and maintaining the uh, shelf life of toothbrush is going to be very easy. Well, coming to the brushing aspect, you can see it is uh, the anteriors being scrubbed upon and there is no discomfort of any kind. And of course, uh, even the occlusal surface of the lower arch, it is being scrubbed and a good amount of foaming uh, is being produced by the toothpaste. So in and all, uh, it is good for the anteriors. One thing to notice here, the middle section of these bristles, they just glide. The posterior and the anterior ones, they actually function. This is how the lower anteriors are being scrubbed. Does the job perfectly. One thing to notice here, the head size is actually very large and might cause problems. Another thing, these bristles are very soft and thin. So I am sure in my opinion, they might not be able to remove the thick block or calculus. Well, again, the challenge is the head size. My wife literally had to pull one of her cheek outside with her index finger because she could not place the toothbrush correctly. Bristles on the other hand, they are perfectly fine. They are doing the job. It's good to see that bristles are effectively cleaning in between areas. But again, you can see the last molar we were not able to reach correctly and maybe it is just because of the head size. Otherwise, these bristles are perfect and this is how they function well and nice. Gosh, she was not able to reach the posterior molars that difficult maybe because of the design flaw that is the head size is very large she is performing the modified bars technique and the bristles are doing their job very good but again the molars are left out well the issue with the lower arch remains the same the head size is very large the neck to body ratio is again large and as a result you can see the entire oral cavity in fact half of the oral cavity is covered with the head size these bristles are soft enough to remove any kind of food particles or debris in between teeth surfaces. However, for sure, any hard plaque or calculus will not be removed by these bristles. Now on the palatal side, one thing to note here, the improper placement of the toothbrush, right? Still, these bristles are able to remove or will be able to remove any kind of food debris in between the molars. However, because of the larger head size and neck to body ratio, Definitely the placement in the upper posteriors is a tad difficult. It was rather a tough shoot because she was not able to place it correctly. And you can also see the improper bristle functioning there. Now coming to the tongue cleaning, we get a good attached tongue cleaner to the toothbrush. It is clearly seen that these bristles might interfere with the hard palate or the soft palate. Right. So they might create problems. However, these bristles are very thin and soft enough not to create any problems. One thing again, since the head size is very large, so it might create problems. Now you can see there's nothing on the tongue cleaner. That means it is ineffective and cannot be used. Wait a minute. What is she doing actually? Well, the best part of this toothbrush is that yes, this toothbrush can also be used as a gum massager. And this is how it functions. And this is how you are supposed to massage your gum. However, 
do not exert force or do not be harsh otherwise you can definitely hurt your gum line wait stop right there do not attempt this these bristles are supposed to massage your gum but as you can see there's no space left between the gum line and your bristles and of course your upper lip the more pressure you exert you might hurt your upper gum line and they might start bleeding perhaps this is because of the larger head size or maybe this brush is not exactly designed the way it is supposed to be that is to massage your gum as well so please make sure you do not attempt this at home at any cost you might convert your healthy gums into bleeding gums all right then are you planning to buy these stop listen to this first all those who have undergone orthodontic treatment or maybe oral surgeries namely extractions endodontic surgeries periodontal flap surgeries these soft bristles will not hurt and they will do the cleaning effectively individuals suffering from oral lesions blisters gingivitis periodontitis malignancies any kind of malignant lesions or even those who suffer sensitivity issues all those having malocclusions where a lot of food get accumulated in between teeth spaces so these are the individuals who should buy the soft bristled toothbrushes we do have the advantages as well one the bristles are quite thin very soft at 0.01 mm these bristles are actually very effective in removing the food debris and softer food particles in between the teeth second these bristles are very soft in fact extra soft hence can also be used as a gum massager three the bristles are placed at 15 degrees the criss cross design is really helpful and efficient in removing the food debris and soft calculus or plaque well to conclude the hit or a miss the bristles are very soft but they cannot definitely remove hard plaque or calculus the head size is still very large and might cause problems in the oral cavity the tongue cleaner present on the reverse side is inefficient and ineffective and of course the gum massager part right these bristles are soft and can be used as a gum massager but definitely these bristles still hurt the upper gum hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions any queries you can write to us at chimentumdentalcare@gmail.com see you in the next video bye take care stay healthy stay happy